I'm Jeanette Brakewell and today we're focusing on veteran horses. This is uh, over to you, Jack as we call him in the stable. He's 30 years old now, um, but you know he's, he's still fit and well, he's still sound, so he's still in work. And he would be exercised three, maybe four days a week, depending on how much time we've got and what we're doing. The main aim of the, the session is just to get him to stretch and relax and just swing over, over his back and just a bit of exercise for him, really. Between lunging, uh, hacking, a little bit of schooling, not a great deal these days. Because he's 30, he is a, li a little bit stiffer, but uh, you know, he's, he's, he's very well. So um, today we're just going to give him a little bit of a lunge. He'll probably be quite uh, sprightly. I tend to just have a, a roller on, just a bridle without reins so they don't get in the way. And I use this, which is called a harbridge, which just helps them to stretch down and um, follow the nose forward and just stretch over the back. When I'm lunging the older horse, you know, it's really important not to just send them off flat out going forwards. Just take your time, let them just ease themselves uh, into the work. Exercise them so that they can just keep themselves loose and uh, flowing forward. So, you know, it's important not to just overstretch them, just let them go at their own pace. Jack's been on the walker already, so he's uh, a little bit warmed up. And I'll just let him, oh, good boy. Just walk for a couple of circuits. And I'll just get him out onto as big a circle as I can. And you know, he's very sprightly there working. He's a you can see he's a little bit stiff behind. You know, I don't want him to go too fast because I don't want him to overstretch himself. I just want him to relax into a nice trot and he'll settle down in a minute. Good boy. And I, I generally work, this is about an 18 metre circle in here. I don't, mainly in trot, to be honest with you. They're better balanced in here in the trot. We've got Jack on the uh, Protexin Equine Premium 15 Plus supplement, which is good for his joints and his guts as well. It's obviously helping him. So I think with the older horses, you know, if you can use a supplement like that, it will certainly help them to, um, you know, keep them youthful and agile and keep them working. You know, and I'll let him just have a little canter now. Yeah, non-restrictive, he's doing sort of what he wants to as he's just shown. I think he's had enough now, <laughs> he's got bored. So it's really important to remember when exercising the older horse, just start off really steady, nice and slow, don't put them under any pressure, just let them go at their own pace until you know they've got their body warmed up and loosened up. It is important to encourage them to stretch and to work forwards to the bit, not to go in what I call a hollow fashion because if they're working upside down, it's not good for their backs. Important to warm up steady, work them for a bit, and I'm not saying work them for, for ages. If you're going to work them, give them 10 minutes of proper work so they are exercising their body, they're loosening it up, encouraging their muscles to work in the, in the correct way because, you know, the muscles hold their, their body together as well. So it's keeping the muscles stronger.